So now we're ready to start animating our point. We can make it move randomly and we can draw it on the screen. I'm going to uncomment this while loop right here. Let's just take the random and the draw and put them in here. Now what should happen now this, this is going to run until I close the drawing window or the panel. It's going to move to a random location and then draw. All right, perfect. What in the world just happened? So remember the Y coordinate doesn't change. So that's why all the Y coordinate is the same here is 200. This doesn't look like a point. Well, what's actually happening, it's drawing it everywhere. Let's slow this down a little bit. I better increase delay because it's going to go real fast if I don't. All right, now you can see what's happening. If things are happening without a delay, humans are too slow to see the first thousand points get drawn. You need a really slow computer if you're going to actually see the points getting drawn without a delay. Here, there's a tenth of a second delay between each point getting drawn, and now you can see how that image was created. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, we need to erase the screen. How in the world do we do that? Well, there's a few ways to do it. Uh, there is a panel.clear, however, it's very slow. It works, but I don't recommend it because it's incredibly slow. So we're gonna draw, or we're gonna do a fill rect. Takes upper left uh, corner here. So the upper left corner of the panel is zero, zero. Now you could do 600, 400. Now if you run it, look at that, did a fill rect, but we want to change the color. This is exactly why we needed background color. You don't want to fill it with the foreground color or the color of the dot because you won't be able to see the dot anymore. That's why I created background color exactly for this purpose. All right, what in the world's happening here? It's working. However, where we're delaying, it's not correct. Let's think about this order here. We want to draw the point, then wait, then clear the background. And now you can see the point moving around. Hopefully it's showing up on this recording. It's just skipping around randomly. You can slow the speed down quite a bit. This will definitely show up. There we go. All right, you may notice there was two dots at the very beginning. Probably is a good idea. I drew the point, then I moved to a random location, then I drew the point. So on the first frame, you saw the point twice, so I probably shouldn't draw the point up here. So I'll just take that out. Okay, this right here is clearing the panel. Now, do not use 600, 400, because if the panel changes sizes, it may not always be 600 by 400. And you can see somewhere up here is erase, what do I call it, erase panel right there. Now, notice it takes no arguments because we have access to background color and panel, which we can get the width and the height from that. So we're gonna replace this with erase panel. And then that, this code goes right into the erase panel method.